Hello guys! Welcome to Family Matters. While waiting for our next appointment, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa dysfunctional family. Yes. So, have you ever wondered or maybe you have experienced or you are experiencing yung uh, conflict sa bahay, regular na may argument, or maybe yung mga anak natin ang gulo-gulo. So guys, malalaman natin ngayon yung mga signs ng isang family na dysfunction. So, we all know na ang isang family naman or bawat isa ay hindi perfecto. Kaya ngayon, pag-uusapan natin kung ito ba ay nabibilang ang family natin or kasama ito sa tinatawag na dysfunctional family. Yes, this also reminds me of a scripture found in Doctrine and Covenants section 132 verse 8. Sinabi doon na, Behold, mine house is a house of order, say yet the Lord God, and not a house of confusion. Sabi mo nga kanina na every person who grows up in a family knows that each one has its own dynamics. Ayan, so sa formative years natin bilang mga bata, yung environment kung saan tayo lumaki ay napaka uh, halaga kasi it has a direct impact on how we function as an individual. Yes. So, ibig sabihin, uh, matatawag ng dysfunctional or dysfunction ng isang family kung yung mga misconduct ay uh, nagiging constant and everlasting. Okay? Pero kung hindi naman siya parate, ibig sabihin, uh, it's a normal na nangyayari sa isang family. Yes. Napakahalaga na malaman natin about dysfunctional family kasi with this, we can evaluate kung ano nga ba ang sitwasyon ng pamilya nga natin. So ngayon, let's define ano nga ba ang dysfunctional family. A family is dysfunctional when conflict, neglect, and misbehavior are constant and everlasting. Parents might abuse or neglect their children and other family members are often forced to accommodate and enable negative behavior. In some cases, dysfunctional families can be the result of addiction, codependency, or untreated mental illness. Yes. Okay. So, kagaya nga ng sinabi namin kanina, wala pong perfectong pamilya talaga. Pero lahat naman tayo ang gusto natin magkaroon ng uh, maayos sa pamilya, uh, nagmamahalan at nag nagka uh, nagkakaintindihan. Okay? So, even sa family namin, we are doing our best para magkaroon ng harmonious relationship. Do yung mga bata habang lumalaki sila, iba-iba yung mga behavior nila at nag a tayo. Pero ngayon nga, pinag-uusapan natin yung dysfunctional family. So kung may uh, na-discuss tayo na somehow it touch our hearts, probably it's time for us na let's organize our family. Yes. Kasi nga, makikita natin paano kung itong constant or everlasting, big sabihin palagi na lang, every day, every minute, <laughs> and every hour, merong tinatawag na neglect or merong conflict. Yes, so as family counselors, we have talked to a grabe, sobrang daming family talaga and they have different kinds of challenges in life. So kaya natututo rin kami sa kanila while uh, talking with them and we are so happy that uh, uh, we were able to help them na organize yung family nila or help them um, i-fix lang yung mga bagay-bagay na kailangan i-fix. Yes. Sometimes naman, sabi mo nga, uh, minsan normal lang naman talaga ang magkaroon ng conflict and other family problems. Pero, kapag ito ay nagiging constant na at hindi na tayo nakakapag-function very well, hindi na tayo nag-thrive or nag-grow sa ating family, then we can say na ang family natin ay dysfunctional. So guys, uh, kanina na pag-usapan na natin yung definition ng dysfunctional family. Okay? Right now, pag-usapan naman natin yung five reasons for dysfunctionality in a family. First, finances. If a family is undergoing or has been in exceptionally poor financial situations, then it puts extra pressure on the mental health of the adults. This pressure could easily turn into toxic stress, which leads to more dysfunctional behavior within the family members. 
As soon as the family is facing money issues, the parents get anxious, and it leads to cracks in the family structure, thereby leading to fights and disharmony. Yeah. And that's right. Kaya nga, uh, before marriage, napakahalaga yung tinatawag na uh, training or classes before marriage kasi pinag-uusapan talaga yung importance ng finances. So, hindi lang sa physical or emotional, mahalaga na may prepare din natin ang finances before we uh, get sa marriage na tinatawag or to have our family. Kaya yung pangalawa, we will talk about yung family history of dysfunction. So, ibig sabihin, nanggaling siya sa isang family na dysfunctional. Okay? So, nagkaroon lang ng result or yung effect sa kanya dahil nga sa kung saan siya lumaki. So, if for many generations there has been a history of family dysfunction and at least one parent's dynamics with their own parents is also dysfunctional, then the cycle remains unbroken. All the family members exhibit characteristics of someone raised in a dysfunctional family. And the third one is yung violence. A history of violence, either physical, emotional, or sexual, leads to fear, destructive behavior, and violence between the parents and towards the children. Alright, and the next one, yung overly religious belief system. If a family has strong religious belief, with no room for conversation, debate, or explanations, it can lead to the parents trying to enforce the same set of beliefs on their children. Parents might become strict without reason or purely on the basis of their fundamental opinion. And this can lead to dysfunctionality. Sabi nga, teach them correct principles and they govern themselves. At yung panglima, authority. A reason for a dysfunctional family could be parents getting pushy, aggressively authoritative, and tyrannical in their behavior. This leads to over-possessiveness and dislike amongst members. So guys, maraming salamat. I hope you have learned something about yung five reasons bakit may dysfunctionality in a family. Okay, sa so mga susunod, pag-uusapan naman natin yung signs ng dysfunctionality in a family. Kung kanina may reasons, ngayon meron po siyang signs. Okay, we will know kung galing tayo sa family na dysfunctional or yung family natin right now is dysfunctional. See you in our next video! Bye!